Hello, I'm Barbara Gavin, and I'm a volunteer at Androscoggin, and this is Lorenzo Bafuco, and he is going to be <laughs> helping us to show you our activity that we're going to be doing this month. And this month we are going to be making something called a memory lantern. And for that we have a jar, a couple of different markers, a sponge paintbrush, Mod Podge, a little tea light battery operated candle and various pieces of tissue paper and these will all be included in your um, kit. So the idea of what we're going to be doing, Lorenzo, is we're going to be making a little luminary and it's going to be something that you can look at at night okay. and maybe it'll help you, you know, sort of comfort you and help you think about your dad. Right. Okay, so you have chosen a picture of your dad. Yes, I have. So you want to just tell us his name and a little bit about him? All right. My father's name was Pasquale Bafuco. Um, he was born in Poggio Marino, Italy, and he was very Italian. Mm -hmm. And he came here when he was 16, and he was just very kind and lighthearted. He was. So when he came here, was he was a little bit younger than you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, wonderful. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to, we have this mixture of Mod Podge okay. and um, we're going to be cutting up these um, pieces of tissue paper um, into very thin slices. And okay. the idea is we're going to be making something that looks a little bit like uh, stained glass across mm -hmm. this. And we're going to be mounting your dad's picture into it. Okay. So as you're doing that, Lorenzo, I'm going to be talking to you about your dad. Okay. And these questions are also included in people's kits so that parents can talk to their kids right. as well. Okay. So you start tearing that up into <laughs> little, little tiny pieces. And then while you're doing that... Um, How tiny are we talking? That's okay, right there. Because okay. you're going to be basically putting it around on this. Right. So it doesn't have to be confetti, so like postage stamp size. <laughs> but, you think that'll cover the whole thing? This? Yeah. Um, probably not. Do I break it up more? You don't have to. Okay, I'm going to leave it like this then. Okay, then you're going to use I this. I think it looks cool. I think you're right. And you're going to put the tissue paper onto that. Okay, so I'm going to take this. Yeah, that's mod, like... that's mod Podge, and it works like glue. Okay. And it's okay if you get some on the table. Because I'm sure at home, kids are getting stuff on the table. Right. Okay. So you're not okay. drawing on those first? No. Huh. No. So I'm just going to start, like, layering this on. Yep. Perfect. All right. And then do I, like... And then you can just, like, a piece. take one of those and stick it on. So now, um... For people who are working at home, uh, one of the things that somebody just stopped by to say is, aren't you going to draw some pictures on those first? Which you can, um, but uh, sometimes it ends up this, um, these markers will bleed. So it might end up on your picture or it might um, get ruined a little bit. Right. So just for the purposes of what we're doing, we're not going to be drawing on it. But at home, if people wanted to draw little pictures, that certainly is something they could do. Right. And so you want me to keep going all around? All around it, yeah. All right, different colors. Yep. And, you know, you could, if you wanted to, draw pictures or write down words or special things that your dad okay. was used to saying to you. Like, right. did your dad ever have, like, particular things he said to you? Um, I don't know if they were particular things, but he'd, like, make songs out of people's names randomly and... He would speak in Italian around me a lot. Uh -huh. um, obviously, I don't know how to spell all of the things he used to say, but he would like tell me "mangia sta pizito," which means like "eat and be quiet." So he said that one a lot. I bet he did. <laughs> I don't know about all the others. <laughs> did um, he say anything in particular when he would like say good night to you? Um, he would say buona notte, mm -hmm. which is good night in Italian. Um, he was he spoke very fluent Italian because he came from there. But um, yeah, I used to speak it when I was younger a lot. But as I got older, I kind of like 
fell off a little bit on that. You still have a good accent, though. Yeah, I'm starting to take, like, online classes to get it back. Do you so, feel like that connects you with your dad a little bit? Yeah, and his mother, which is my nonna, she's still up there, so she's still around, so whenever I'm missing my dad, I can go and see her, say hello. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the picture that you have there, Lorenzo, of your dad, um, do you want to hold it up to, for the camera? Sure. And I know exactly when this picture was taken. So I was going to say, would you tell a story about that picture? So if I'm correct, this is his 44th birthday. Mm -hmm. And we had surprised him when he came in from stacking the wood. Because um, it is January 15th, that's his birthday. So we surprised him when he came in from stacking the wood with a stuffed animal, a cake, and a couple loved ones and new guitar strings. That's right, he was a guitar player. Yes, yeah. and very good at it. Yes, too. he was, yeah. What kind of guitar did he play? What style? He played like just the original guitar, like the strings, no electrical things. Mm -hmm. He did in high school play the electrical guitar, but as he got older, he just stuck to the classics. And by classics, tell me more about that. Um, I don't know how to explain it. It was just like the wooden guitar and he would play like Mozart and Beethoven. Um, and when he would write his music, it would take on an appearance as one of those artists, mm -hmm. which is probably where I get my songwriting from. Probably. And yes. your singing skill. Yeah. Yeah. Um, did he play fl flamenco? Flamenco. That's with... Um, just like single strings and very fast. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, 100%. Yeah, um, very pretty. He did do that a lot. Uh, and he would also record his music on like a tape recorder. And I am currently still looking for those because I would love to find them. Because um, in one of them, you can hear my voice in the background nice. yelling. Yeah. Because I was a child. But yeah. So, and what did he, what did your dad do for work? My dad was a teacher, um, a history teacher, in mm -hmm. fact, at Levitt Area High School. And from what I've heard, he was an amazing teacher, very caring, always like looked out for students, gave second chances. Uh, he was a pacifist after all, so very kind hearted. Um, I'm sure he made tons of friends at Levitt. Um, I know he did. Yeah. Yeah. And he did train people there and stuff. On occasion, he would volunteer at like shows and perform with his guitar, his own songs, and covers of songs, mm -hmm. which was nice. Um, but yeah, he was just like an amazing teacher. So he used his um, his skills his talent also in his teaching. Yes, Yeah. he would play guitar for his students. And also at school, he would do like spaghetti dinners where nice. he would, yes, where he would make homemade pasta sauce for everyone at Levitt to go and eat. And it was always good. Everyone would always compliment all of his food and stuff. It would be good. Yeah. You can't miss with spaghetti. You really can't. You really can't. You could mess up the whole thing and it'd still be good. It'd still good. be good. Right. Yes. So this looks like it's drying as you're putting stuff on. Yeah. Okay. So you can if you want to. If you want to write some words having to do with your dad, like his name or something like that, on it. Um, what okay. Do you now you say this is when you were surprising him at a birthday party? Yes. What would he have been saying? <laughs> would it be in English? <laughs> um, part of it would probably be like, oh my gosh, I love you. Mm -hmm. And then he'd probably say something in Italian like, 
going to watch what I say because yeah. I don't know everything <laughs> he was saying. This is a family show right here, <laughs> yeah. and you're not sure what it was. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. He didn't differentiate, okay, no. this is not a thing you say in front of your grandmother, and this is a thing you can... Right. Okay. It was like a ballpark, I'd have to guess. Okay. And then if I said in front of my nonna, she'd probably be like, Lorenzo, you can't say that. I'd be like, oh. Okay. But she isn't here to rail, rally you in. Right. Okay. So I am going to write my father's name, which Very nice. took me until the age of 11 to know how to spell. Well, well you had to learn how to spell Lorenzo, too. And you, right. <laughs> so you had a lot to learn. Fun fact, I didn't know how to spell my middle name until I was 15. What's your middle name? Eduardo. Eduardo. You didn't know how to spell it? I don't think <laughs> no. I know how to spell it either. I had no clue. I thought it was Edward. My mom's like, no, it's Eduardo. And I was like, oh, okay. I've been lied to my whole life. <laughs> Not a thing you want to just all of a sudden find out about. Right. <laughs> okay, so you're going to also glue this picture on your okay. memory jar. And so would I do it below his name? Wherever you want to. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for below his name. Okay. Because I feel like that's... Appropriate. Yeah. Yeah. And you weren't joking. This does look... Oh, no. <laughs> it's okay. This does look a lot like glue. Yeah, it basically it is. But it shines up a whole lot nicer than glue. Right. All Although, right. in some of the kits that are going home, I think there is glue. Or it might be a Mod Podge and water mix. Very nice. All right. So there's his name and his picture. And on the there. finishing touch, now for people at home, there's a little um, sticky thing on the inside of this that you pull out so that it'll um, be able to work. But you want to turn that on and then put it inside of here, which I think we need to have. <laughs> you do it. Okay. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now we put the candle inside. Yep. There we go. Nice, nice. All right. We also could put a little ribbon around it if you'd like. Okay. Just to sort of trim it up a little bit. Put it. I think I'd put it around like this. Right. You could, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you could put it <laughs> around your neck. You could. <laughs> Tie it on like a ring. <laughs> Am I like... Or maybe make it... Here, why don't you see what you're doing there? Oh, facts. <laughs> How old are you, though? 16. <laughs> okay. It's just like We're a shoelace, like Lorenzo. Bow it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, there we go. Okay, very nice. <laughs> very nice. Okay. And that could go on your windowsill or something at night? Yeah. And you can see the little candle in there flickering around. Right. I think, like, if you wanted to, well, don't put a live candle in there. <laughs> <laughs> no. But, like, I wonder what it'd look like at nighttime if you put, like, a flashlight in the bottom of it and then just shine it. That would be nice, too. Yeah. Yeah. But right now, that looks really, really nice. Nice job, Lorenzo. It's a fun, cute memory to look at. Yeah. Thanks for doing this with us. Of course. Yeah. I had a lot of fun. <laughs>